from their vantage point in the western mountains of Libya. Opposition fighters watch Colonel Gaddafi's troops moving in the valley. Just a few kilometers away, a battle has raged all day. There are dead on both sides, but Gaddafi's forces have retreated. I'm in one of the opposition fighter outposts high in the Nafusa mountain range, and you can see why a position like this gives them such command of the territory. You can see for miles from a place like this. Now below me, in the valley there, are some 50 Gaddafi fighting vehicles. The rebels have been watching them come and go. There's been up to 100 there, and this position has taken fire from them. They've even been hit by grad rockets. But the fighters were cheered by what they say were the first ever NATO airstrikes in the mountains that morning. Before the, they move as they will, because the NATO never strike here. But today morning when they strike, now they are afraid from the NATO. This remote mountain range is home to Libya's Berber minority. They told us Gaddafi hoped to start a fight between Berbers and their Arab neighbors. But the revolution has buried the differences between the two. All what he did, he make us united more and more than we were before. The town of Nalut now feels deserted. Gaddafi has cut the water and electricity. Women, children and many elderly have fled to Tunisia, leaving the men behind to defend the region. And at Nalut Central Hospital, the first casualties arrive from the fight with Gaddafi's military 10 kilometers away. These men have vastly inferior weapons, but they know the territory. Also at the hospital, wounded Gaddafi soldiers are brought in and given the same care. Locals tell us it's vital to behave ethically. At the Transitional Local Council, the elders of the community had a message for Colonel Gaddafi. We call on Gaddafi to leave with his children and all the people who surround him. Because he destroyed this country, humans, animals, he destroyed everything that has been built or achieved in this country over the past 40 years. The people of this region will fight Gaddafi forever, they told us. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Nalut, Western Libya.